Welcome to Chemcast Art. Today we have a topic that's been asked to me many times. Should I give my paintings away? Especially to relatives and friends. Well, let's think about that. First off, we'll get out of the, the one out of the way that you can't avoid. If your mother wants your painting, you're going to have to give it to her because the first thing she's going to say is, I was in labor for you for 56 hours, 14 minutes, and 39 seconds. you got nowhere to go with that. Give her the painting. As far as other relatives go, think about it this way. If you invest your money in a painting, your time, then you got to figure the investment for your painting is going to be not just the canvas, the paint, the brushes you had to buy, the time it took you to learn how to do the painting, the background you may do, learning how to do that painting, and, and figuring out what the subject was going to be, it all costs some money. So the problem is, is most relatives, especially in friends, they think, well, you're my cousin, you're my uncle, you're whatever, or you're my best friend, I'm one of your closest friends, or whatever. If they really appreciate your artwork, and they really truly want your painting, they'd be willing to pay for it. And I had to learn that the hard way. I gave away countless paintings to friends and relatives. Even my own mother kind of was involved in that some. Oh, can't you do a painting for your cousin Marie or your cousin uh, Donna or whoever? It doesn't matter, whatever cousin it was or relative it was, or uncle, or whatever. And I've done them for many, many relatives. And the thing is, is you have to stop and think about what you're losing. Because if you give away your painting, even if it's, a, if it's an 11 by 14, the cost for an 11 by 14 painting in oil, you're probably talking a minimum of $20 that you're losing. So if you give away 10 paintings, how much money are you talking? Especially if you're charging $100 a painting. Even if it's $50 a painting, it's quite a bit of money that you're losing. And if you're losing money, you can't buy paint. You can't buy canvas. You can't buy any of the materials you're going to need. Your thinner, brushes, you may need another easel, whatever it takes. You, you need to remember that this is a, whether it's a hobby or if you're doing this to make money or both, for you to continue painting, it needs to support itself. So you need to, other than your initial layout of money, of course, but make the hobby or the profession pay for itself. It's like a little business, you want it to pay for itself as much as possible. It's hard to do that, but that's that's the way you have to look at it. So when your friends come up and they say, hey, can you just give me a painting? Hey, I really appreciate the painting. I say, sure. Um, it's X amount of dollars. If it's your friend or your relative, you can give them a discount. There's nothing wrong with that. That's up to you. But if they really respect your work, they will pay. I have relatives that now um, I've never given a painting to. Well, I did once. This one particular relative had bought probably five or six paintings, and I did give him one painting. It was a painting I did of our grandmother, and it was a very emotional thing, so I did give him that one. But all the other paintings he paid for, not one time did he bat an eyelash at what the price was that I gave him. And I didn't give him a discount all the time. There were a few times I did, but there was one particular painting I really didn't even want to sell. So I actually gave him the full price. He immediately wanted it, so and he appreciated the work, so he bought it. Now, there are other options that you can do. If you don't want to get your, your relative angry at you, your friends angry, angry or say, which, which painting do you like? Let him pick the painting. If you're painting, and you followed my advice before, you've taken pictures of your paintings, do a print. If you have a computer, 
or if you have to go to Walmart or whatever, but you can do a print. So just buy some print paper. It's, it's a bit pricey, but still you can get away with doing a print for four or five dollars at, at the most. And that's if you mat it. So now if you have to frame it, that's a different ball game. You're already you're gonna be adding on at least ten, fifteen dollars for a frame. But if you just do a print, you can do it fairly inexpensively. So give them a print. Another thing that I used to do, I found worked pretty well was when I was learning how to paint, there was a lot of paintings that I didn't like and I didn't think I could sell them. So I put them aside and I let them dry and I just let them collect in a box. So when a relative or friend came by and they said, hey, would you give me a painting? I just moved them. I like some painting from, paintings from my walls, you know, artwork from my walls. Sure. Any one of those in that box. Those are my free paintings over there. You buy your own frame. Let them take whatever one they want. If you know you, if you're pretty confident that you ain't going to be able to sell it, and probably it's not going to be as good as the paintings you're doing now, at that present time, but it's still a free painting. And that's another way. And if they say, well, no, I'd rather have that painting, another one that's a lot nicer or whatever, then you offer them a print. Say, how about a print? I'll give you a print. And you might even be able to get them to give you a few dollars for the print even. But that's what you have to look at um, because you'll, you'll find yourself literally going in debt trying to keep up with buying paint and brushes and canvas and frames and everything else if you give them away. You, if you're giving it away, you can't sell it. And that's the biggest part right there. There's many paintings I've given away that I know I could have sold in a gallery or sold myself online or something like that. It's happened many, many times. And the reason I know that is because people bought prints of it because I didn't have the original anymore. So that's the way you look at it. Every time you give it away, you've lost the sale. So hopefully this information will help you a little bit and get you thinking about ways of dealing with that situation because it's going to come up believe me it never fails so anyway have a good day and leave some comments ask questions i'll be glad to answer them please subscribe share like all those good things and thank you for participating in this little video